So we're part of the South Asian Student Association. So today we brought a different assortment of food and drinks and we, today we just kind of wanted to show people the beauty of South Asia and kind of get rid of that perception that South Asia has in the media and kind of show the beautiful aspects to it. short of how well documented it is in modern times, excluding from social media connections. I know Toni Morrison had the experience in mind when she was writing the Blue Diaries, but I hope this poem starts a conversation on the serious impacts, racism, microaggressions, and not seeing themselves reflected in the bodies around them can have on the mental health of young people of color, and how racism can drive these people to continue, reconsider career choices, or come into conflict with the dreams. I think there are so many I think Marshall is a very diverse school and I think that that's a strength of ours but I also think living in the suburbs living in a predominantly white area there are a lot of just implicit bias things that we have to be aware of and microaggressions that happen to people of color at Marshall and I feel like that's something that needs to be talked about and not just pushed under the rug like we're a diverse school we can't have any problems you know because this is everyone's, racism is everyone's concern. It's not just, you know, acts of terrorism. It's little comments like, oh, well, you're pretty for a black girl or you have to get this specific monologue because you're a black girl and you can't have anything else and I'm gonna single you out. I hope this next poem helps every person of color at Marshall value themselves and recognize their brilliance that is the celebratory resistance they embody simply by existing. Black girls will be princesses. I loved it. It was so empowering. Like there were these group of black girls in the audience who were like cheering me on and screaming. <laughs> that was just, that was so amazing. That was the best part. I felt so like loved in that moment. I did a Colombian dance because at my church, um, we have in all the countries, like especially Colombia. Um, so, and I dance at my church. So I learned that the dance. <laughs> So it was really fun to get all my friends together so we could share and make a dance that share all our cultures and like our different like music and like colors and all of that. Because like, I feel like sometimes like, at least in Marshall, I never got like to like experience that. Sometimes we get nervous and scared of like sharing like or different languages or culture and all those things so I want to like show people that it's okay to like be yourself and show where you're from because it's actually pretty pretty amazing like to be different is like the best thing I feel like there's a lot to learn about other people and like a lot of people make a lot of mis, um, mis like they make a lot of assumptions and a lot of stereotyping happens and like they don't actually understand other people. So that's a really important part of it, just learning. <laughs> Thank you.
porque obviamente es mi lenguaje primario y pues es algo que, como lo digo, soy súper, soy de esas personas que les gusta ser uh, inclusivo con las personas que hablan español, porque como tú sabes, en nuestra escuela la mayoría de estudiantes son latinoamericanos y pues lamentablemente acaban de llegar muchos eh, y pues hablan español y pues no hay entendimiento del inglés. Eh, sí, tengo tiempo en la escuela también aprendiendo inglés y pues se me dificulta también un poco al hablar, pero pues decidí hacerlo en español por, inclusivo, por ser inclusivo con los otros estudiantes, para que se sientan cómodos. Fue algo que me, me pareció como que súper eh, normal, tranquilo, se diría como que al momento de ensayar, porque pues como sabrás, dice como seis presentaciones, cinco presentaciones en la, en la International Night pero en los, o sea, los ensayos todo fresco todo normal, me gustó mucho pero eh, luego cuando pisé el escenario o sea, después de tanto tiempo fue algo que pues me, me no tengo palabras para explicarlo porque como que me dejó como que súper nervioso y pues se estaban apurando de, de mí los nervios y pues te juro que casi, o sea, casi, casi estuve a punto de llorar porque yo no sabía qué hacer. Entonces, como te digo, me sentí nervioso y pues, pero a la vez como que sí, me, me gustó mucho porque después eh, todo fluyó normalmente porque las personas estuvieron apoyando nuestra cultura en general y nuestras presentaciones. 